What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about the Flashpoint weekly activities, how you do them and give you guys my opinion on the best way of taking advantage of such activities. I mean I've had so many questions on YouTube and Twitter and even my Facebook, people asking me about Flashpoints. Hopefully within this video I sum it up for you. But before we go any further guys, leaving a like on the video would really help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Flashpoint Weekly Activity. This is one of the many things that become available upon completing the story and will in turn arrive every week as a new thing to do. So upon completing the story, visit the tower and speak with every vendor within the tower. Upon doing this, you will see the notification of new things to do in terms of quests and so forth. Upon going to orbit, bring up your milestones and you should see the EDZ flashpoint here. So this week, the flashpoint is located on the European Dead Zone and here you simply have to grind public events. Not a specific type, although I do believe heroic public events will help you get this done quicker as it gives you more of a percentage towards the end goal of 100%. And in reality, it isn't hard to do, and to be honest, doesn't take long at all. I did this solo, and I did it all within about half an hour, maybe even less. Now, upon doing this, go back and see Cade within the tower, who rewards you with a luminous planetary engram. This engram normally rewards you with great high-level loot, one of the very few things you can do which will help you reach that 300 power level. So with this flashpoint, I actually recommend you hold off completing it until you are at a point of where only exotics, nightfalls, quests and so forth are the only other thing you can do to level up that power level of yours. Up until this point, there are many things that drop gear which will help you out, but after that set level of 265, it's much, much harder to get increased power level gear. So with this flashpoint guys, it makes sense you hold back on completing it until you are limited in things you can still do. So on screen now you are seeing the contents of what I got and you can see I got that epic but broken exotic tractor cannon. I say broken because I used it within PvP and it didn't seem to do any damage to people. But surely with the next patch bungee drop, it will fix the issues many people including myself are having. You can see it dropped at a level 275 which is great considering at the time of me doing this I was a little over 260 and I was also rewarded a pair of gauntlets that dropped at a power level of 272 at the time my highest armor piece which is great. Now you can do this across all three characters per week and next week the flashpoint will be on the planet Nessus, the week after which will be week 3 will be on IO and week 4 will be on Titan. So yeah guys, a little tip on doing the flashpoints, if you are new to the game, hold out on them until you're at a stage of where you struggle to level up. Each week I will do a flashpoint guide, so stay tuned for that. And on that note guys, I am ending the video. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, leaving a like seriously helps me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one.